Zinder, and this is episode 14 of my Minecraft Let's Play, and I've decided that the goal for today is going to be make this not so hideous. However, the only problem is, is what I want to build it out of, I don't have yet. So, we are going to go out and uh, get what I need. Um, some people have been saying, hey, I like a longer episode. Some people have been saying... Longer episodes are ridiculous. Make them shorter, please. So, uh, my original plan was to limit to 30 minutes, and I think I'm going to do that. And as much as I don't like to cut things, should it get to a point where I'm nowhere near close enough to being done with the actual building, uh, I might just put it on hold and either continue it in the next episode or just finish it. Who knows? Or maybe I'll reduce the length of the episode by cutting out some things. Um, such as monotonous, ridiculous things. And you may be able to tell what I'm planning on building the house out of now. Some people don't like it. I think it actually looks pretty good with this texture pack. Um, the only problem is, is in order to build an entire house out of uh, the brick... I'm going to need a lot of clay. Um, it used to be a lot rarer of material, but it's actually fairly easy to find. And I'm sure you see what I'm doing. It's already started doing what I wanted it to. Except for some of this doesn't want to go away, and I'm just going to have to destroy it manually. But uh, I am collecting clay to make bricks. You know, I think I said that already, but anyhow... Um, but I'm going to need a lot, because, well, look at it this way. For every clay block I gather, I receive four clay balls. One clay ball makes one clay brick. And four clay bricks, like, cooked bricks, or just called brick, I think they are, um, that then proceeds to turn into one full brick. Which is why I'm going to need a lot of clay. But, in order to make this very boring task of finding clay a little bit more interesting, I'm not going to avoid the night as usual. I'm going to meet it head on and probably get blown up by some creepers some more. Probably lose my stuff. And, you know, the usual. I just don't want to lose the clay, it's the only thing I'm worried about, just because going and finding more is going to be a long and painstaking effort. If this entire area was safe, I wouldn't really need to record this, um, but it's not safe, and I think that's what's going to make this interesting. Now, I, didn't, I haven't done any of the math required to figure out how much I'm going to need, but I'm going to need a lot. Plain and simple. I need a lot of bricks. Just because, well, there's no reason not to. And this reminds me that I'm going to need to add another area to my storage. Which is a recurring problem. Right now, I'm trying to collect all this clay at night without drowning and without getting killed. Which, without getting killed with me, probably impossible. I don't think I brought any food. Oh, wait, I got one bread. And a completely ridiculously unorganized full inventory, as usual. One of these days, I'm actually going to, you know, clear it out when I go to do something. You know what? I'm going to start doing that. At the beginning of every episode, before I start recording... I'm going to clear out my inventory, just so that way whenever I go out to do something, I am prepared, unlike what I am right now, because I more or less don't know where I am now, except for there's that desert, and I'm probably not going to have anywhere near enough clay by the time I'm done, but we'll see what happens. I'll probably end up filling my inventory with clay and converting it back to bricks just for the temporary matter of 
storage in my inventory once it gets filled up. Is that more lava? Wow. This countryside is completely covered with surface lava. Which just seems a little unnecessary. And you'll notice I'm a little bit more talkative today, and I, I sound a little bit more, uh, you know, good to go. I'm not really recording any earlier than normal, but the way my sleep schedule is now decided to just change itself. I'm actually uh, more or less awake, not kind of half-tired, and, um, yeah, I'm running off a good supply of tea, too. So, tea is good. If you don't like tea, well, then, I guess you don't like tea. That's your own decision. But, in the meantime, creepers are annoying. Um... Hmm, see more clay down there. The, the only problem with clay, it's not the fact that I have to gather so much. Oh, great. What annoys me is the sheer fact that after you gather so much, it's still retardedly hard to find. Like, not the actual finding is hard, but the uh, gathering, I should say, is the hard part. The digging in water, half-drowned situation, which is why I've been mostly just looking around the the banks. But I'm going to have to play around to try and get this, because there's a good amount of it just sitting down here. So, I'm going to do that. Um, I would cut the video, but it is the middle of night, and we all know how things go with me in the middle of the night, especially when I start drowning. Okay, hopefully I'm good now, for a little while, until I start drowning again. The, the easy way to look at this is the number of brick blocks, or clay blocks I've collected, is the equivalent of how many, like, bricks in the end of it I'm going to end up with. So, it's as much a space saver as it is an easy way to determine how much clay I'm going to have. So, or more of how many bricks I'm going to end up with. Or, I, I really can't think of how to uh, to mention it, because when you cook the clay balls, it's called a brick. I guess that's a brick, but then there's bricks, and then there's bricks. And now I'm just making this conversation more difficult than it needs to be. And I'm sure I'm probably going to get criticized for my overusage of bricks in two different ways. One in terms of the name of the block, and one in terms of multiple of a different kind of block. And it... I just... You know what, I'm just going to stop this now, because I'm not making it any better. Uh, so... Okay, I should just see if there's anything I don't need. For example, lime dye. Not concerned. Flowers. Not concerned. If I want flowers, I can bone meal the ground, and, well, I'll get some seeds doing that too, so. Flowers can go away, and it was one lime dye. I like lime, but having one dye clogging up my inventory is a waste of space, and deserves to be thrown away. Now, I know that to the west of my house is spawn. And I know that I went east. So, as long as I can determine what time of night it is, I'll be able to find my way home. Which... Something's wrong here. Either I made one big circle, or I am actually lost. I think I may create a solution to that in the near future. But in the meantime... I'm keeping my, well, keeping my breath bar full and trying to make sure that none of those random mobs I saw floating around, like that skeleton, not floating, they were walking on land, but I want to make sure that I don't get randomly ambushed and almost killed just by being in the water like before. So, and I know, like, I am more talkative, but it's a whole bunch of random bam bambling? babbling at this point, much like it always is, but, uh, ow, you prick, stupid skeleton.
skeleton. Okay. I go towards the shore for a second, and it becomes a complete war zone. Oh. Okay. The skeleton was more dangerous than the zombies, and was dealt with as such. Now, this complete lack of diamonds is kind of annoying, but very easy to deal with. I'm not one of those people that really has to have a whole lot of diamonds. The only thing I ever use my diamond pick for is collecting obsidian, and... And then I use diamonds for, well, pretty much making my enchanting table, and that's it. So, so my inventory is full again. That is a decent amount of clay, actually. I hadn't been really looking all that hard, but I guess I've been through almost an entire Minecraft night, and from the looks of it, about ten minutes. So... I guess I've been out here longer than I thought I was, but, uh... Now I'm just confused. I don't remember which part of this I've already went through looking for clay. Guess it wasn't this direction. Oh, creepers. Oh, wasn't that handy? I even got some gunpowder out of that. Oh. That kind of hurt. Ow! Thought you were a uh, skeleton for a second there, Mr. Spider. I was almost a little worried. Oh, this is a nice patch of clay. I'll probably still leave the roof made out of wood. Partly to save bricks. Partly because of the fact that... Well, you generally don't see... Houses with their roofs made out of bricks. Or roofs? Or... I don't know. Y you know what I'm saying. That's all that really counts. I hear you, cow. Oh, oh looks like it's daytime. And... Should... I should make the trek back, but for some odd reason... I'm just going to break the shovel collecting clay. Because I don't know if at least gained quite a bit of clay, because... I don't remember the exact number, but I think iron shovels are like... 256 gathers-ish? Emphasis on the ish. Um, but, uh, yeah. I don't know if the, I can find enough clay to actually finish this off, though. Hmm. Apparently I did a fairly good job gathering. Clay? Ooh. No, no, I think that's... What the... Do you see what I see? Besides squid. Okay, that's not safe. I thought it was an underground... Or underwater cave, but it turns out... It was just... A little archway underneath that's still filled with water, so that is not safe. Because I will drown. I think I'm just going to make my way back, if I can find it. And get this cooking. Now, I don't really have any plans for anything else to do while all of it's cooking. So, I think I'm actually just going to cut that out to put more meaningful content in the video so once we get back and I know it's safe because I don't want you guys to miss anything potentially dangerous I'm gonna get it cooking and stop the video and I'll pick up back pick back up with you rather whenever uh, everything's cooked and we'll start working on the house because we're gonna make things interesting I'm gonna do it even if it's nighttime interesting is good at least I think it's interesting. I don't know. That's up to you. And I think I know what I want to do with my ruins? Temple? 
Oh, I even have my mossy on me still, so I can actually do that. Okay, temporary sidetrack. Making slight adjustment to make it look not quite so ridiculous. I've actually considered making my own texture pack. And... Well, I'm not going to really do that. Unless, uh... You guys think it sounds like something would actually be a good idea. And I don't know what you're going to think of this little design here. But, uh... It definitely makes it look better than it did. At least in my opinion. Kinda wanna... Hmm. It's a good thing I made that other shovel. And I realized I said that before it broke. That wasn't any kind of audio delay. For those who may be wondering. Um. I think I'm actually gonna make the floor out of mossy. Or maybe at least circle it and put stone bricks or something inside. I don't know. I haven't fully comprehended that yet. But as far as I know, this is not 8x8, eight eight, and 64 should fill the entire thing. So I'm going to do that. And I'm outside, so I'm not going to cut out any of this building for sure. Place those blocks in. Actually, want those there so it looks like it's connected to it. It's, it's actually kind of nifty. And well, I don't want to go in the Nether. I actually rather like how that turned out. It, it needs something on top, but I'll save that for another time. Um. See what I got going on here. More cactus green. Okay. Um, it turns out that it's going to take a very, very long time to cook all of these clay balls. So I will be back with you when that's done. And all I'm going to do in the meantime is manage the uh, the clay balls. So I'll see you again in what's going to be for you a couple seconds. For me, who knows? Hello. I'm back. Um, what I said was going to be a few minutes. I was doing it, and uh, I waited a few minutes, and then I very quickly realized how long it was going to take. Now, before I show you what I did to kill time while waiting, which none of it had any hazard in hazards involved, so I decided no point in recording it. Um, the finishing result of all the bricks I ended up with was that. Almost four full stacks of it. Now you'll notice that chest is gone. That's because I started here, extended this two back on both sides, and we got netherrack chest. This is going to have uh, nether fortress related stuff and glowstone in it. This has my precious materials. Notice the iron and gold block. I even finished the floor, did that. Didn't have the wood for the ceiling because I used it all on chests. I had three extra bricks, so I didn't have enough to uh, finish that out. Still have no marker for my food chest, but you'll see I have a lot more wheat. How did I come upon a lot more wheat? This. And I don't know what's up with these two blocks. Something is really, really strange with them. I'm guessing it's probably some kind of a lighting issue. Um, I figure I could probably just put a glowstone block in the ceiling. And what is down here? This wasn't here before, you ask. This is the beginning of my tree farm. Why did I do a tree farm inside? Partly because it allows me to contain the height of the trees. And partly because of the fact that uh, going outside is dangerous. And whenever I'm trying to kill time waiting for something and I need wood, I'll have a tree farm. And... Uh, Oddly enough, during all that digging, all I found, the only thing I found, was eight iron. That was it. And I found it right here. It was on the final level of digging this out. Which, this was pretty excessive. Um, yeah. But I didn't have enough. I wanted to use those saplings, but I didn't have enough. So, I didn't. Yeah, I didn't finish it out. So, 
Um, I am probably going to need other lighting. I'm probably need to do something about the walls. I don't care. But, uh, yeah, I dug that entire thing out. It took about... Uh, actually, it took about pretty much exactly an hour to make all of the, uh, the brick I have. But, uh, that said, I'm going to grab this stone axe. And we are going to... Start this from the inside. I'm just going to chop out the uh, whole bottom layer on one given side, which was the end of that axe. And I'm going to need another axe before I even finish this, that's for sure. And I'm pretty sure I have more than enough bricks. I, I can almost guarantee you I have more than enough bricks to finish this entire thing. I'm being very careful, because I don't want to break my bed. And I'm going to have to go outside before all that stuff despawns, so I need to do it in the next five minutes. But that right there is exactly what I was waiting for. The sun. Oh, how these zombies fear it. And skeletons. But, uh, I'll just fill these in from the, uh, the inside here. And now I'm going to go outside. There is a spider. Check this out. Oh. Yeah, see? There's a spider that's been on my roof this entire time. And he's just been staring at me. Waiting for me to go outside. So now he's going to get what he was waiting for. And, uh... This will also help me refill my supply of wood that I lost. You know, I won't really be able to refill it because I'm going to have to... Sealing in the storage area on the back part of it, which I don't know how much more that's going to need to be extended, but hopefully it's not going to be a major issue, because when I built it, I purposely built it so I'd be digging into the mountain, so I'd have a ton of space to work with. So, at least that's good, but uh, I'm going to... I should probably make an iron axe, I should probably... Fill in what I took out here. So that way if it does hit night time, I'll be safe inside. But I mean, I've almost done an entire wall. And I, and you know, like the whole bottom layer of a lot of the outside. And I still have, uh, you know, three stacks of brick almost, so... I have no lack of brick at the moment, and I'm going to salvage every possible piece of wood that I can. While I'm down here, I'm going to grab something to fill that in with, but uh, I need an axe to rip down this place. So, uh, th this is what's left of my wood. Seventeen. That's how bad this turned out. That's what I went through, making tools, making chests. It, it was just complete insanity. But, what are you going to do? That was part of the whole point, though. It's wasted time, moving stuff that didn't need to be there. Plain and simple. But, uh, oops, I was going to grab some dirt. Apparently there's a bunch of zombie flesh out here. But I'm going to grab a piece of dirt from somewhere that nobody's going to care. Apparently I picked up a piece of cactus. One finally grew and fell down through, so that's kind of impressive. Oh. There's another one in there. But, uh... I'm actually probably going to build the house with the intention of a second floor as well. Yep, I'm eventually going to add a second floor to this, but, uh... Any... I I've come to the conclusion that anything dangerous is going to be recorded. Like this, I consider dangerous. Because I'm destroying the outside of my house. Um, anything not too dangerous, such as what I did before, digging out those areas, and, you know, expanding the wheat farm, I'm gonna cut, because uh, I... That little thing there just made me realize exactly how much time I would have 
wasted either just sitting here waiting for that stuff to finish and wasted all your guys' time with what I managed to not record. Which, we're getting close to the uh, 30 minute mark. I should It shouldn't be a major issue if I push... Well, I'm not going to need to push too much extra because uh, this is the last wall. We'll have a brick house. But, um, yeah, this is going to be the last thing I do for today's video. And then, um, well, yeah, we'll have an, a house. I actually don't mind how... Oh, crap, I missed an entire wall. Well, I lied. There's going to be some more time on here than I expected. But, uh, I, I'm... Look how many bricks I'm going to have left over. Which is why that little... Uh, I don't know how you want to look at it. A bevel? Well, I'm actually not going to build a second floor. and I don't think I'm going to... I'm going to skip where the glass is. But other, other than that, I'm still going to... You know, I'm not going to border it. I think I might actually put some wooden steps out there. Yeah, screw it. I'm just going to leave it how it is. Finish up this. Maybe you guys can give me some ideas for what I should do. Because I really like my clock roof. But there's not too many ways I can use it if I extend this up another floor. I mean, obviously I still could. I can make it go the whole way through all the floors. Which actually sounds sounds like it would actually look kind of cool, to be honest. And yeah, I realize I no longer have any light in here. Because I destroyed all my torches ripping down the walls. But, uh... Should I add a second floor? That's something I'm going to leave up for, uh... I know there's at least a few people that comment on the things that I do. And as such, I believe I'm going to just let them decide, since I talk to them on a regular basis. Yes, that's right. Two of my main viewers are people I talk to on a daily basis. How sad is that? But, uh, this place is really lit up now. I went maybe overboard with the torches, but, uh, I do plan to get rid of this. I'm not sure what I'm going to do with that. It doesn't really link up with anything too well. I could probably find a way to link it down to here and just have it, like, cut off somewhere. But, uh... I'm not sure about that. I do know that I've completed the brickifying. And I rather like it. Maybe you guys will too. I don't know. I will find out. And I'm going to make one last change because it's been bothering me. This. I don't like it. It doesn't match very well. And I like that much better. So now that that's been completed, all my walls are done, made entirely out of brick, I added a tree form, and what's the point of me summarizing? So I'm going to call this the end, and I'll see you guys again in episode 15.